The government has increased the overall subsidies to 71 billion ringgit this year from an average of 30 billion ringgit. Finance Minister Tengku Datuk Sri Zafrul Tengku Abdul Aziz speaking at the World Economic Forum in Davos today said the increase in subsidy by more than half was done to help tame inflation. Because if you look at what's happening in the region, that's the staple food, right? Rice for Southeast Asia. Um, it's very important for Malaysia. We're not self-sufficient for rice. We're 70% uh, domestic, but 30% is imported. Uh, Vietnam, Thailand, they're all self-sufficient. So there's a lot of government assistance mm -hmm. to ensure that supply is secure. And also at the same time, subsidies, uh, a large amount of subsidies that are uh, allocated to ensure that the price is also uh, maintained, given the uh, importance of rice to Malaysians and everywhere else in the region. So this has been a, a challenge, especially when the cost of producing is, has gone up. Uh, and we are seeing that uh, countries all over the region uh, are being asked to step up. But Malaysia, <clears throat> I will just to give you a sense, Please. Subsidy in terms of numbers, uh, we usually subsidize to the tune of 30 billion ringgit. This year, it will be 71 billion ringgit. Uh, that's why the inflation is still low uh, at 2%, 2 but that's core inflation. Food inflation is actually up uh, 4%, and you're right about the basket. So the vulnerable groups obviously uh, will be uh, facing bigger challenges given that they, the, the basket of food is much higher um, and this is the average, whole, average household consumption is the assumption for inflation. And at the same time, um, we are lucky because some of the countries in the region do not have that commodity resource. Can, you can see where the oil price is today. Mm -hmm. uh, and most countries may not have the opportunity uh, to create revenue.